guys welcome back to my channel if this is your very first time here welcome to the diary of Unotado and if you are returning Sabi welcome back honeys so guys I'm back guys and I'm back with part two because the last video I did was part one so now guys part two okay so in part two guys i'm basically going to this is actually the end ne? so i'm basically going to tell you guys what happened um the officer romance story sami about how i had an affair with my manager okay so before i do hop into the story guys please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below you know tell a friend to tell a friend to your girl has a youtube channel and don't forget to follow me on my facebook page called the diary of unotan okay guys so let's just hop right into part two okay okay guys so i know that they're no lindy part two so yeah so in part one guys i ended off where i was saying that um we heard a knock on the door and you know and uh, it was a guy you know mr manager we even gave him a name in part one and we said to mr manager so guys oh mr manager gay okay, he walked in and he introduced himself and you know um we got to know him um some of the guys asked a few questions here and there and Jay, he was a vibe guys you know he he was a vibe yeah born and Jay. he was all chilled um and he was very funny so Jay, yeah and i kept looking at him like every time he would speak like i kept looking at him because angazi guys you know there, there was just you know there was just something in there and nai bengimbona mosukuthi okay you know you know when someone is is looking at you and thinks that you cannot see them looking at you but you can actually see them you know looking at you and when i'm looking at him he's looking away but i can actually see ukuthi you know he was looking at me but anyway guys so then he get, um he leaves and you know we're all shuffling about you know we're all talking amongst ourselves we like you know we're all excited mina no told me you know we can't keep smiling at each other you know we we're basically happy guys you know we're happy and to be honest i was really really excited like i was over the moon guys the the joy the excitement in my heart nobody can even explain it guys i'm having him a pine twist i know guys it's like wednesday but anyway so okay guys um so when we met with mr manager it was a friday so um the weekend came and i decided to you know what you know since monday it's gonna be a big day pela monday it's gonna be you know the first day um See no Mr. Manager and you know I Funa Ang Bonnie Mosu good to you know got her, she's got her you know her game on. So okay guys um I decided good okay you know what I'm gonna go out for shopping because I had like um yeah I remember I had like a little bit of cash so I was like to myself okay I'm gonna go out um I'm gonna go out for shopping because um you know I wanna look good you know I wanna look nice and fresh and you know I wanna look seductive you know for Mr. Manager you know so um me and Uchomi we went out um and she helped me like pick a few outfits for work nothing too dramatic it was just sophisticated outfits that were sexy you know and that's one thing i loved about uchomi you know she was very very supportive like we both were supportive towards each other but she was a very very supportive friend so um we went to get Nochomi and she helped me pick out a few outfits for work and then we got ready um monday came guys so monday the big day like the big day so monday comes and then um we go into work and then we go into our training um room and then our trainer then takes us and he he takes us on to you know the main floor where we were going to be assigned you know sitting anyway guys so immediately when we walk into you know the main floor the office you know like and he looks at us you know and as soon as his eyes like you know 
looked at me he you know that smirk that someone does like at the back of the of their face like you can actually see them smiling but they don't want to smile so he had that smirk on and i could see him looking at me you know like checking me out because i had a you know a sexy little number you know and he he was he was pleased you know he was happy with what he was seeing pelanaming with the guys you know so i wanted to give him something you know like to look at but anyways he, he looks at me and then he basically assigns us to our you know our seats where we're going to be sitting so unfortunately Mina no told me we weren't sitting together but she was sitting like opposite me so she wasn't far off away from me so yeah, guys we get settled in and then um you know he gives us like a one-on-one -on -one speech like he is so friendly guys and he's like if you guys need anything just shout um that's what i'm here for if you guys don't understand anything just shout as well that's what i'm here for i don't mind explaining um you know something that you don't understand and the the whole time he is you know giving us a speech and mean like my mind is somewhere else you know i'm i'm basically undressing him with with my mind that's exactly like how i was i, I couldn't even focus you know i couldn't concentrate but anyways guys yeah so we settle in fine and then um so manje there's this thing you he keeps walking you know around um keep you know he keeps walking amongst us checking to see are we settling in are we you know getting the hang of things and you know when he comes um he cracks a joke he's like i when i can see you to you on top of your game you know you came all prepared dressed all gorgeous and beautiful so when i get you shouldn't have a problem you know and he'll laugh and we'll all laugh you know he'll crack a few jokes here and there and then he'll walk past so then you get the day goes by guys and we actually settle in pretty fine you know that monday we settle in like pretty pretty fine so then he get before the end of the day he gets our attention and he's like guys can i have your attention um i would like to um get each and every one of you guys this phone number because we are i'm gonna create a a facebook i'm um, sorry a whatsapp group so this whatsapp group is basically going to be us sharing you know um whatever insights we have to share about work if you're running late you know sharing work updates at the end of the day so um i'm going to give you guys this piece of paper can you please write down your number your name and your number on the piece of paper so that i can create the the whatsapp group hmm okay so you can create a whatsapp group hmm. okay how smart of you okay so if a packet goes around and we fill in um our names and we we write our our numbers and then um he creates the the whatsapp group okay so when he creates the whatsapp group obviously he's the admin of the group and because now he basically has like my number you know and we basically like each other's contacts because nami that's how i saved his number as well from the group to say okay he's my manager so I was very happy, you know, I was very happy and that's exactly what I wanted, like, honey, that is exactly what I wanted, bang veiling phone, uguti ube on my WhatsApp so you can view my statuses, you know, I can give you a show to watch and, you know, give you something enticing to the eyes and that's exactly what I did, child, you know. I started uploading I'm a statuses that are enticing, you know, something not too revealing, nyana, but something to say, you know, entice me, you know, yakfuna, you know, chase me, you know, I'm hot, I'm there. And guys, to be honest, like, he would be the first one to view my statuses. Like, every single status that I would upload like literally he would be the first one to view and that's when i started to notice i would say okay so okay music should see okay he's feeling exactly what i'm feeling we are more on the but i can call osa jelly or at that time he's feeling exactly what i'm feeling as well 
so okay guys i continue like giving him a show and then i'm still wearing on my sexy you know numbers and every status that i'm uploading this guy oh yes viewer you know and not to say that i was complaining or anything i mean he took the bait like he took the bait like he took the bait guys but anyways so um the weeks continue guys and then um everything is going good guys the job is good like i'm enjoying you know waking up and going to work every day because i have a reason to you know i have a hot manager who is my crush and child how can you not like be happy to go to work how can you not be happy to see all of that you know so towards the end of the month um i decided it's okay since okay is working and okay is fine she's independent now and the pay was good guys like we 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 got a rundown of the paycheck and the pay was good you know i could now afford to actually rent out like my own flat like my own flat by myself i could afford to so then um because me and Ochomi, we were sharing a flat and Vele, we were staying in like a block of flats so i decided um that i'm going to move out and i'm going to you know get my own place because no chomi nai she was also doing well as and she could also afford you know getting her own flat so um i decided it's okay no i'm gonna move out and i'm going to you know find myself my own flat when I get paid month in so now I'm be like a guy month in comes and then surprisingly Fusi, when Uchomi helped me to go and get my flat we got it like two floors away from each other so she was on the 22nd floor and I was on the 25th floor so we were literally like two floors away from each other which was even better because we were like literally like right close to each other so Uchomi helps me to go and buy furniture. Obviously, I got paid and then I went to go buy furniture. No Chomi, I went to go buy like a few things for my flat. And I moved, you know, I moved into my new flat. Now I'm I'm like so proud of myself. Like it's exactly what I wanted. Oh girl got out of a long-term toxic, you know, relationship. And you know, she she got herself her own place. So I was excited, guys. Like I was so proud of myself. It's okay, you finally did it, you know, you finally, you know, got your own flat. And um Ochomi helped me, you know, move into my new flat and I settled in pretty fine. So everything was good, guys. So the night I actually moved into my flat, I the view was like, oh, guys, like, you know, that's one thing I enjoy about that place is the view. The view was epic, especially at night when you see street city lights and, um, you know, you, you, you can see the moon. The view is absolutely epic, you know so i decided it at night i'm going to go and take a picture of the view excuse me and i'm going to um i'm going to take a picture of the view and i'm going to upload it on um, my status okay so guys i take a picture of my view and then i upload it on my status and you will never believe who viewed the status obvious man it's so mr manager you know he was the first one to view the status and he actually replied like he responded to that status and his response was okay so when i basically posted the status i captioned it one thing i love about my new place is the view it is epic at night so then i posted the status and then he views the status and he replies back and he says, um, congratulations on your new place, housewarming, um, and he sends like bottles of champagne and, you know, uh, emojis of dancing people to say congratulations. And then at the end, he asks, he's like, he's like, housewarming, when can I join you? When can I come over? Hmm. okay he's like when can we come over oh, wow all right like anazi it's kind of a feeling 
that you have inside when you've just achieved something more that's the exact same feeling that I had like the the excitement in me guys you you should have seen the way i was screaming all over my place the way i was dancing all over my place like i was so excited would see what what now you want to come over not only are you congratulating me about my place you literally want to come over so then um i respond back to the to the text and i'm like when do you want to come over I responded to him and it's like, when do you want to come over? And he responds back and he's like, how about right now even? So, guys, like, we start talking, Gike. Um, like, we start talking with him and, you know, guys, it's a vibe, you know, like, it's a vibe. And, um... We, we talk and we chat with each other and then um, I'm like, I would love for you to come over, but um, there's a lot of people, you know, that stay here um, that we work with and um, what if someone sees you, you know? I wouldn't want to risk, you know, um, getting caught because, you know, rumors fly and, 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 and. So guys, we start talking with him and to, to actually be honest, we, we actually bonded you know we actually clicked like there was that chemistry nyana, and that chemistry was like it was a lot guys like it was a lot so we actually talked like the whole night now we like getting to know each other and he actually confessed and he was like girl like you fine you know you fine and i saw you from day one you would see you fine but i didn't know like you know um how to approach you because given my managerial position as well um, i didn't want to jeopardize anything but you fine you know i've been wanting to talk to you and finally i am talking to you you know so tell me about you you know um where are you from so then we start talking guys and um we actually talked till two o'clock that morning like we started talking at around 8 p.m and we only finished the conversation at like two in the morning okay so it was established that we both like each other and i also confessed like my feelings to him and i was like yeah um i'm not gonna lie you are a catch i really liked you like i liked you from like the the beginning and 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 i'm not gonna lie like we actually had chemistry like you know when you speak to someone and it feels like you've known them like forever it feels like you've known them forever like you guys run out of nothing to say to each other like the conversation is flowing like Kum nandi man it's a vibe you know it's a vibe but anyways next day comes and i decide to put on you know one of my sexy little numbers and we go to work you know no show me so as soon as I enter, like, the office, he's sitting there at his desk, like, at his table. And as soon as I enter, like, he he looks at me and he basically mimics. He's like, you know? And then I smile and I'm like, thank you. And then I walk and I sit down at my place. So, yeah, during the course of the day, guys, like, kind of the friction between us. Like, every single time um, he walks past me, you know, he will do, like, those small gestures. Like, maybe he'll cup my chin or maybe he'll, you know, pinch my cheek or, you know, maybe he'll, you know, he'll touch me. You know, he'll want to do something, you know. There will be, like, that body like body contact with each other and i will look up and i'll smile or he will smile at me and he'll walk past so guys this happened for like quite a few consecutive days and um each time it would happen like me and no me because we sit across each other we would like look at each other you know and we'd smile at, at each other you know 
and this happened even like when we sitting a canteen um he would like walk past us and you know he would greet us and he would smile you know he would look at me and he would smile he would literally like look at me as a a pendugenam you know even turn his head and smile at me and um like guys some people like ended up noticing you know Uguti, mm, what's going on between you and you mr manager you know and some people would even come up to me and they would even ask me would see what is going on between you and you mr manager and you know i'd be like me oh child nothing nothing is going on you know i don't mix business with pleasure you know when i know would see there's something in there you know there's something in there guys okay guys so so even ucho me she's like um you know, I can see you guys like you guys have chemistry and you guys in your funanamos, you know. So why don't you guys just get this thing over and done with and um you know just fuck, you know, just fuck so long because I can see you guys want each other. And okay, so like the days go by and this keeps happening, you know, like these gestures, like um him, you know, um picking my cheek every time he walks past, and like literally like people are starting to notice Uguti. something is you know going on and i'm trying my best not to show Uguti something is going on but it's hard guys like it's hard okay so this one like weekend i decide it was okay you know what i want to go out um uchomi wasn't around um because she you know had something very tragic happen to her so Mina and Uchomi were very close and um, she basically lost a child in the midst of everything so she had to go home because she was from the Eastern Cape and we were staying in Durban so she had to go home for a couple of weeks because she had to sort all of that out and of course I had to stay behind and you know um, um, that's going to you know go to the family and 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 so i wasn't okay as well like because the same thing happened to me as well like i also lost a child so um when she had left to go home i was alone and you know like everything came back and emotionally i wasn't okay i'm not gonna lie because i knew exactly how it felt to lose a child and i mean i also went through that it was it's not a good thing guys like it's it, it was very traumatic so i decided it was okay you know what um i'm not gonna stay in the house um because i keep thinking about stuff so i'm just gonna go out like to a weekend away so i decided yeah, guys it's okay um i'm gonna go out and i go out to ramsgate so on my way back from ramsgate um I guess imagine we talking with Mr. Manager and we talking and you know we actually developed a bond, you know. So we talking Jay like a couple now. Well, it wasn't really official which we were something, but we were actually talking like a couple, you know. And on that return back, when I came back from that weekend, um, Mr. Manager he texts me and he's like, um, how about I come and I pick you up and you know you spend the rest of the evening with me so i'm like okay now where we were staying no told me like a lot of people that we used to work with like our colleagues baby Court, work and where we were staying it was like a walkable distance so a lot of people baby Shala, they were staying at the flat so i didn't want to jeopardize everything because everybody knew would say he had a position there and everybody knew him as a manager so i also didn't want office drama to start so then i was like okay um tell you what because i'm a little bit cautious about you actually coming to pick me up i don't want you to be seen how about I come to you so he was like okay so how are we going to do this thing because um, I'm not supposed to be seen there and um, you know I should come and pick you up so I'm like okay no it's fine I will request an uber that is going to drop me off at your place so he sends me his address and he's like okay request the uber and I will pay when the uber gets here so then he, I get to my place and then um, I pack my bags and then I request an uber and then I leave so guys this is like the first time now we actually going to be together like the first time ever 
So then I request an Uber and then I leave. And then we're talking like the whole way. Um, he's directing the Uber, he's, he keeps calling, and then we finally reach like the destination. And he comes and he pays for the Uber. So I jump out and he was chilling with his friends. So um, we chill with the guys and um, he asks me what I want to drink if I'm hungry. And I'm like, I'm not hungry yet, but I would like something to drink. So um, he gets me a Savannah. So we chill, um, we chill with the guys and um, he asks me what I want to drink if I'm hungry. And I'm like, I'm not hungry yet, but I would like something to drink. So um, he gets me a Savannah so we chill guys with the friends his friends were very nice his friends were very chilled Nandi, like it was a vibe guys like it was a vibe so we chill with the friends and we drink you know and then they go and they buy some meat so that we can have a braai so then we have a braai and you know more of their friends uh, of his friends girlfriends like they come over Nandi, guys it's a vibe you know there's music there's drinks there's food jay the chemistry is still flowing you know we can Keep talking to each other like guys it's a vibe it was really nice i'm not gonna lie so then it was about 2 a.m in the morning and then we decided to know um we're going to go and sleep so okay yeah, guys we go over to his place and um yeah we chill there uh, we chill in the lounge for a couple of seconds and then i decided to know i want to go and jump into bed now so i go and i undress and i put on my you know sexy little you know sexy little number number you know and i jump in bed so the rest is history guys like we did the deed you know we did the deed and the deed was the deed was popping. You know, nigga knows his story. Like, nigga knows his stuff. Like, nigga knows what he is doing. The nigga fucked the daylights out of me. Hey, guys, I got laid. Guys, I got laid. Like, good and proper got laid. You hear me? Like, the guy... Like, the things he was doing to me, guys. Like, he was licking my body in and out, up and down, left and right. Yeah, born and Jay. He was just in Jay all over me, you know? Like, he was licking every single inch and every single curve of my body. But anyways, guys, yeah, we, we basically spent the whole night, like, doing the deed like was it was exciting like nobody really slept and the guy is good like the guy got game like I, i'm speechless guys like he's speechless because wow wow you know the guy did me and he did me proper but anyways guys okay, so yeah the next day comes and it's monday we need to go to work so we have not slept we were drinking the whole night and having sex the whole night we were doing a whole lot of things the whole night and we had to wake up at 7 a.m and get ready for work so we woke up and we got ready for work guys so m17 we couldn't be seen entering you know work together so he suggested that he is going to drop me off behind um the building there was a parking entrance that you could enter through so he was going to leave me there and then go and park his car on the other end of the building so now in Bella, he leaves me there and then um you know we kiss and then i enter the building and then i entered first and then he enters after me so now guys you know the moment like you guys enter work you need to be professional because that you guys you know you guys were busy doing something so the minute we enter work it's like two different people because now we have to pretend as if we don't know each other we have to pretend as if we've never met each other you know we have to pretend to be professional 
and it was hard guys it was so hard trying to pretend to be professional so um you know we have a good day and you know the day goes by and it is so hard it is so hard like each time we keep passing each other you know they'll just be that look you know that look your good team nigga nigga i know you you know but now we can't do anything about it so guys that's basically how we, we we ended up you know having an affair and we kept talking with him and then the next weekend we decide to you know see each other again so this nigga is like wanting me to spend every single weekend with him because the next weekend he thought he like he called me over and it was just it was getting too much guys it was getting a lot not that i wasn't enjoying the attention i was but it wasn't something that i wanted to do like repeatedly because obviously i was coming out of a long-term relationship but anyways it keeps happening you know it keeps happening and okay is is catching you know he's catching he's catching feelings and um now it was an issue yogutsi um he's not even shy anymore around work um to speak to me whenever he he buys me lunch even like when he goes out and he gets something um for himself he's gonna get it for me as well you know he's going to text me and ask me what do i want and obviously i'll tell him what i want and he'll come back with you know my stuff as well and when we go out for lunch um he will come and leave it at my table and when i come back then i'll see it you know or he'll leave it at his table and he'll be like um babe i brought you lunch um feel free to come and grab yours when you you know when you're going on your way out so a lot of people kept noticing guys um like i did mention a lot of people kept noticing what's going on and 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 it was just a lot now there were like rumors that were going around Uti, um I'm having an affair with my manager. It was just getting a lot, guys. It was getting a lot. Yes, I did like him and he was attractive. But however, I wasn't looking, you know, for anything long term because I just come out of a relationship. I wasn't looking for anything, you know stable i was just looking to have fun guys and and that was it you know i didn't know he, he's going to catch feelings you know and yeah the stuff for six six but you know i didn't know what to also catch okay so now people are talking about us um when i'm you know walking you know i get those looks like those dirty looks as if to say you know you bitch you know and not that i cared but you know it was just getting a lot it was getting a lot and he he basically was catching feelings because now he wanted um us to move from being together every weekend to being together almost every day and it just wasn't working out for me guys so it was getting a, a lot more toxic than i envisioned it and whenever he would um you know want to say something to me he'll just come up to me and he'll cut my cheek in front of everyone so everyone is looking now and this one time i forgot my watch at his place and he just comes so nonchalantly and he gives it to me in front of everyone you know and to make things worse like I had spent the weekend with him and the Monday when we were coming to work, obviously he dropped me off first um, behind the building where no one, you know, usually walked past. Um, someone at work saw us, you know, someone at work saw me kissing him and jump out of his car. And it was, you know, someone who I didn't actually want to see us because you know we are trying to call my in you know and you know when you're trying so hard to hide something from someone and the person that you are trying to hide so much from 
is the one that actually you know sees you and i was like oh okay like now we are caught like we are caught and it's game over and nangembela um rumors flew at work that um now me and him you know we're having an affair guys it was just a lot it was just a lot it was just so toxic i then decided like i spoke with the chomi and i was like chomi um I, I really respect my job and i really love my job and i don't want things to happen where now it's a problem yoguti um i'm not enjoying coming to work because i'm being labeled as something you know and he's also you know not enjoying coming to work because he is my manager and you're not supposed to be doing things with your junior staff you know so i didn't want to put him in that position as well where he could end up losing his job for a conflict of interest and i decided to look for another job you know by the grace of god guys i did actually find another job and i went for an interview and luckily i passed the interview they told me like at that moment in time would you know what you passed the interview and it was a friday when i went for the interview and they told me would monday um, i'm expected to start training and they even told me the salary which was you know three times better than what i was earning here yeah. so i texted him after the interview and i told him that it was my last day and i'm actually on my way to work to resign yeah, guys so i went back to work and he was looking as sour as ever he was looking miserable guys like he wasn't okay at all he kept shouting at everyone something that he it wasn't like him you know something that he he never would do he was always a happy person always making jokes always laughing but that day he was in a bad mood and everybody could see would he do not even piss him off you know and a lot of people were like looking at him and looking at me when he's shouting because they kind of figured would see something is you know going on but they just didn't know what was going on so he was he was not okay guys he was very rude to everyone he was shouting at a lot of people it it, it just wasn't it wasn't it wasn't good guys so um i handed in my resignation and i you know i left guys and then i started a new job and i was so happy because i left while there was still time and i left before things you know got messy and I'm not going to lie, after I left and started a new job, obviously we were still, you know, visiting each other with Uchomi and stuff. But Uchomi would tell me that he's not himself anymore and he's not okay anymore. And he looks miserable. And one day he actually came to work, like, drunk. And I, I was like, wow, that is so not like him. Uchomi told me that he actually came to work drunk and one day, you know, because Uchomi knew everything that was going on and obviously Mr. Manager knew that Mina and Uchomi were best friends. So one day, like, he, he basically went up to Uchomi and he was like, um, how's your friend doing? Um, you know, I miss her. Um, I hope she's okay. And, you know, tell her I said hi and stuff like that. And Uchomi was like, wow, I can really, really see what this guy this guy really 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 likes you and he really really was into you you know but i was like i didn't want anything serious guys at that time because i had just come out of an engagement and he was just pushing it you know he was now treating me like his woman and i didn't want that and secondly i didn't want to have a toxic work environment where i was going to be labeled as a bitch you know for um you know dating the manager because already i was getting a lot of sly looks from you know colleagues and you know they were just they were just not having it you know they were looking at me dirty and also i didn't i didn't want him um to lose his job over you know me and i knew how much he loved and respected his job even though he did something that you should not have but I didn't want him to lose his job because of me. So, okay, guys, I left. I found a new job. And um, I settled in pretty fine at my new job. And we just basically drifted apart, you know. Because that was the aim, really. I, I wasn't looking to get into a long-term relationship. And I guess he just read between the lines, Woodsy. You know, I'm done with him. So, um, 
we just basically drifted apart from there and we stopped speaking i mean it went from you know chatting uh, very minimal to not even chatting at all to you know like ghosting each other and that's just basically how it ended so i also ended up moving and i got a better place like a bigger and a better place because obviously the pay was good and you know life was going good guys life was going good and i didn't want any man to actually mess that up so that is my office romance guys um that is a story of my forbidden affair of how i basically had an affair with my manager but i'm glad it ended because you know guys stories like that they don't end well but anyways yeah guys so that was basically it for part two i know it is a bit long but i just wanted to you know put everything in part two instead of giving you guys like snippets and snippets but thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel don't forget to follow me on my facebook page called the diary of no tando and if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up i will see you guys in the next one Bye.